Hey guys, welcome back. Dreamweaver23 here with another tutorial for the tutorial series for Banished. Game available on Steam for $19.99. An amazing game. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I've been playing it forever, it seems like. I, I've got a lot of time on this, on this game. Uh, we have made quite a bit of progress since the last time that we were on here. Uh, we do have our cattle going through and they're being reproducing and, and being able to go through. We do have uh, 16 out of 16 chickens there and we have 24 out of 25 chickens over here. We did create another pasture and split them. We also were able to get some sheep and uh, be able to get some uh, wool from them. So we have to see everybody is uh, getting some warm coats, which is nice. Got some warm coats going through there and got them stored. Uh, our quarry is still pumping away over here. We have had some people die. We've had some people have kids and all that other good stuff. Um, circle of life junk. So welcome, welcome, welcome. This series of tutorials is a bit more advanced than ones that come in the game and they are set to make it to where you are not pulling your hair out and are able to prosper in the game. And that's what we want to do is make it to where you can prosper. So let's go ahead and get started on here. On the last time, we got our quarry set up. We got some new houses built. And uh, on this one right here, we're actually going to want to go and build some mines and get some more buildings set up for the city. And so we're going to get those things set up so you can kind of see what those do. Uh, first things first, though, we are going to go and set up a mine. Uh, for that, we're going to need to go over here to our resources production tab. We're going to go to number seven, the mine. Turn this bad boy around sideways, backwards, all those good ways. Uh, we will set it right here. Uh, we do only have one builder at this point in time. We do have some other people that are going. But, uh, we need to replace our tailor because we didn't have a laborer in there in time. So tailor will be replaced. we got to make sure that we have clothing. Always a good thing. And we have another student that became an adult. Right now they're set up as a laborer. We're going to keep them there as that because we want to make sure that, um... If anybody passes away, we can cover them with a laborer in that spot. Uh, we do have all the logs there, and the stone will be there shortly. Because that's, you know, what this big, huge quarry is for, is, for, is to make sure that they are building uh, efficiently. Now, with the mines, you can do a couple things. You can mine iron, and you can mine coal. You can't mine them both at the same time. They are separate. But, uh, what it allows you to do is... Um, if you have two mines, you can have one mining iron, one mining coal. If you use log, iron, and coal over at the blacksmith, it allows you to make steel weapons. Steel weapons are more efficient and also last longer, so that's a big plus to having those. They are more expensive to make, though, so you have to kind of weigh that into consideration. Uh, they are still doing good over there. While they're getting that laid out, I will show you what else we are going to be doing today. Got a pretty good layout right here, and we are, uh being really good with our amount of food stored. Uh, this is, you know, late spring, so they're be working on this. They won't be harvesting all this food until autumn, and so we're going to be good to go on there. Just going to be good to go. Good to go. Uh, herbs, we are at the herb limit. Uh, the ones that have this little sign above shows that we are at the limit for clothing and all this other good stuff. Definitely want to have that. That's a good sign. So if you go here, so it shows steel tools, log, iron, and coal. And one of our farmers was replaced. They passed away, and then we were replaced by another laborer. Kimbert the fisherman has died, and Gearley has replaced Kimbert as a fisherman. Wald is becoming an adult. So see, that's a whole little process right over there. You want that to you want that to keep happening. Our cattle are up to 15 to 15, chickens are 16 to 16, and chickens up here 25 to 25. We have six of 16 sheep, and they are producing wool, which is lovely and wonderful at the same time. Hmm, I'm wondering if I should increase the amount of workers over here in the quarry to get more stone. Makes sense. But instead, I do need to have more foresters. We'll put six foresters because we need to make sure that we have one. And I always do that. I always close that down and never mean to. Alright, you are almost finished. 
Are we doing... Yeah, we're at 10, 10 times speed. <clears throat> More students, uh, children becoming students, which is good. 58 of 68, 62 of 68. So we have a good circle to where we have uh, children being born, becoming students, becoming adults, replacing the adults that grow old uh, and pass away of old age, which is good that they're passing away of old age. Our health is uh, still pretty good. Average health is four out of five. And our average happiness is four and a half out of five, which is great. All right. Well, y'all are taking forever, so we're going to go over here. Oh, look, they got it all set up now. <laughs> of course, after I say it, y'all are taking forever, and they get it finished. So they're going to keep building that, and we're going to get that mine set up. But while we're doing that, we are going to be going over here. And uh, start looking at some other things for the town. We already have a hospital. Our hospital is right here. No patients right now. It's another good sign. Uh, we already have a schoolhouse. We don't have a well, actually. We can build a well. That would be beneficial. Let's build a well right there. We'll build a well right here. And we'll build a well right here. Just in case. If a fire breaks out, we're good to go. We're covered. Could have given ourselves another builder. As soon as I do that, I'm sure somebody's gonna pass away and I'm gonna need to refill the spot, but you know, hey, what can you do? You can take a drink of Dime Mountain Dew. See what I say? The herdsman. We need our herdsman. We need we need to make sure that our animals are good. Because they're providing us wool, and food, and food, and look, cute little baby cows. That's what they're providing too. Cute little baby cows. And I'm sure these cattle provide leather as well, which we definitely want that also. So, how's this mine coming along? A mine! As my wife would say, she loves that part. She loves Gimli. Uh, the happiness is going up. All right, so, a town hall... A chapel and a cemetery. Uh, a town hall is really beneficial. It gives you records and shows census data. It also shows you graphs of like population, of, of uh, inventories for supplies and stuff like that. You can also check inventories and supplies really quickly, which is nice. But it requires 124 stone, 48 iron, and 62 logs. And right now we don't have the stone available because we're building this mine. Uh, squash seeds. We could get uh, squash seeds for 2,500, but we can't trade in potatoes, so we're not going to do that right now. We're going to actually dismiss you. Bye, guy. Have fun. You track down the river. All right, our sheep are doing good. Back to what we were looking at. The chapel requires 130 stone and 30 iron, and the cemetery is one stone per unit of length. This one would actually be a really good one to set up because we do have, you know, a lot of folks passing away. I want to make sure that they are shown grace and love in their in their dying days. Cannot make a cemetery in this position. Location. What? What is that right there? Is that a road? Yes, it is. Random road sticking up up there. As you can see from over here, our food stocks are in good supply. 
It's a good thing to have. Alright. Now we can build the cemetery. There goes it right here. Cemetery. Alright, they will take care of that. They are finished up over here. We need to get the iron being produced. We also need to build up our stone supplies. Wow, 17 kids, 10 students, and 43 adults. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start cranking these bad boys up. Alright, so we're going to need 68 stone for this all together. Not a terribly large amount. So your, uh, you, it's one stone per unit of length for the, uh, for the, for the cemetery up there. Not a bad deal, not a bad deal. Gatherer's hut, hunting cabin. We are going to keep the laborers. I do need to get some more gatherers, but we're good on food. We don't have this, you know, quite the variety that we did because we have less gatherers, but still, we're good on food. It is autumn. We're going to be right at the 8,000 mark for our food. Right at it. I mean, we're using it as, as well, so. But not terrible. Could use some more stone. Merchant has arrived at the trading post. Selling firewood. Uh, we're good on firewood. Dismiss. Little baby cows, just cute. Let's put her to 16. Alright, so we did lose Curtis as the Forester, and then Gurley uh, replaced Curtis, so that's good. 19 kids. We need to uh, really make sure we're pumping out some, some clothing and everything like that. I think it's the happiness. I think that average happiness of the citizens is what's making it go up so much. Have good variety of food. Students are happy. That's why a cemetery is not being made. Right now we're making all the wells. <laughs> Duh. Okay, so... You can see the wells are being made, so that's good. And didn't I make one more over here? Yes, so... Plenty of them becoming students, yeah. That's very nice, very nice. Foresters, we're pretty good on foresters. Woodcutters were good, and we're looking down here right now, so you can see six of eight on the foresters, that's pretty good. Uh, Herbalist, two of two. Woodcutters, two of two. Hunters, three of six. We could use more hunters. Um, fishermen, one of four, that is really low. Actually, I should really boost that up, and gatherers, one of four. Herdsmen, we want to make sure that we always have the maximum number of herdsmen and farmers that you need. If it says 5 of 11, you're doing something wrong. If it says like something right here like 3 of 6, you're doing something wrong. You need to make sure you have those covered. With herdsmen, if you don't have enough herdsmen to cover all the the uh, the, the herds that you have, the chickens or, or, or sheep or cattle, they can get sick. They can get diseased. Um, they could just die, and you don't want that to happen. They could die of starvation, lots of different things. And since they're so expensive, you don't want that to happen. Um, 
And the same thing goes for farming. I mean, you can lose entire crops if you don't have enough if you don't have enough farmers going through there, tending to the crops. There is a uh, corn seeds. I could actually use corn seeds, but I can't trade potatoes. And I don't want to do a whole process of here. Make sure you always dismiss them as soon as possible. You can actually get a couple merchants every year if you dismiss them if you don't need them. So, something to keep in mind. Now we are this, uh, it's late spring, we're not going to be able to get all of the crops that we need through there. Next spring though, that we're going to have to, or the end of this winter, late winter, we're going to have to open up another uh, farm right here. We're going to have to have another a farmer because we want to make sure that they are good to go on there. We want to make sure that we have food. So you have to plan ahead. You have to plan ahead food for the next year. You don't want that to be, you know, oh, well, I was just didn't think. You don't want that. All right. Uh, this well is good. That well... Is that a person standing in the well? Could you please not stand in the well while I'm trying to create it? Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap... Uh, I'm going to pause it while they are continuing with the wells. I'll come back in if anything special or fantastic happens. I'll be right back. Alright guys, and we are back. They finally got this thing finished up here. They got the gravesite finished. You can fit 112 graves in there, which is great because whenever people pass away... I'll have a uh, tombstone in there, and it'll make the overall happiness of happiness of people happy. Whenever their elders pass away, they can go visit them. It's great and dandy and lovely. Also, I was able to pick up uh, from a merchant over there a uh, pumpkin seed, and so we're going to plant this one and this one as pumpkins. I'll leave the rest of these as potatoes, this as potatoes, and all these as beans. So, that should take care of that. Uh, now that we have some stone being, you know, quarried up, Along with our iron, we can um, get some of the other stuff taken care of that I wanted to get taken care of this in this episode. So that's what we're going to work on right now. Um, all right. The chapel is the first thing, and the chapel takes 50 wood, 130 stone, and 30 iron to create. And the town hall is the other thing that I wanted to create right here. So for the chapel, we're going to lay this one down first. I already have an area over here laid out. I'm going to say, pop, and lay that down right here. Now we don't have all the stone as of right now to create it. We just don't. Um, but they will have it in time. We are also going to lay out our town hall. We're going to put that right here as well. And this will be able to allow you guys to see what the town hall does and what the chapel does. The chapel, I mean, really is just a chapel. It's, it's for the, uh, the inval evangelical, I guess, if you will. It says in here, provides happiness for the devout and a place to meet and worship. So, it is a nice area that it does allow some happiness, increases the happiness of uh, the people in your town. Which is always good. Happier people make more babies, which make more adults. Which makes the world go round. See how that works? It's beautiful. And then the town hall as well is another really, really great resource that allows you to do stuff like check graphs and and kind of see the whole census and how the population has grown and over the past up to a hundred years, I think. So it is a good one. Uh, hunter, woodcutter, forester, those are good. Okay. definitely don't want to be losing any farmers. But since we've had people pass away, you can see the graves in there. There's four graves in there right now. One, two, three. I don't know where the fourth one is. Somewhere. Oh, there it is. Right there. So they already have the areas cleared out. They have the logs in there. They have the iron set up for both places. 
right now they're working on the stone, and they'll, they'll continue to work on that. Uh, we do have four laborers, so we could increase the amount of people working in the quarry, which wouldn't be a bad idea. A merchant has also arrived. Pepper seeds. Make, gives you bell peppers. Don't really need it. We do need this to create potatoes, though. That will come around for next for next season. They shouldn't be planting anything right there right now. Uh, our chickens are doing good. Our sheep are doing really well too. Whenever they get above their point, they actually slaughter them for food. So they just slaughtered a sheep. They're gonna have mutton in the reserves in the stocks. You can see our pumpkins here growing. Pretty pumpkins. We also have our potatoes right here. And they're going to go start harvesting those. They are at 99%, so they are going to start harvesting that as well. This person's getting a really... Uh, I thought it was a really late one, but I guess it wasn't. Our food stock should be pretty good. 97% full on those bad boys, 20% full, and 90-something percent full over here. So, yeah, good to go. <clears throat> Our physician did pass away. Their tomb was over here on this part, so we have 5 12, 112 now, so that's theirs right there. And since we had the extra laborers, they were replaced uh, as a physician, so... And it's not that the young uh, students go, the ones that just graduated is from students, go to being a physician. It's kind of an age thing. So if I go over here to the physician and see the worker. Uh, actually, that one was uh, 19 years old. Boom. All right, you're a physician. What do they know? They don't know anything. They're kids. They're babies. They're practically fetuses. A little too far? Okay, sorry. Let's also put this up to steel tools. Since we have, we don't have iron. We don't have coal, I mean. <clears throat> Alright, y'all just keep building y'all stuff. I'm going to increase this number right here. <clears throat> Let's build another house right here. I like that the houses go random, so it's not exactly the same every time. That'd probably get pretty frustrating. <clears throat> now, it is going to take a while for them to build those houses, but we want them to continue to build houses up. The more houses that get built up, the more kids can go out there, and you can have this cycle of kids coming through and replacing the adults that are, you know, passing away. So, I mean, it's good to have those extra houses right there. Early spring in year 33. We have a good supply of food stocks. And we have, uh, you know, our chapel going to be being built and our town hall. So I am going to pause real quick because I do want to include these in, these in this video. So I'm going to pause it while they get some more stone available for the chapel, and I'll come back when the chapel and the town hall are complete or right near completion. So I'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, and welcome back. I know that was instantaneous for you, but for me it took about 15 minutes. Uh, <laughs> so, they are working right now on the town hall. The chapel is completed, though, and it doesn't do a whole lot. You can't see, you know, a whole lot of stuff on there. You can center the view whenever you click on there. 
but it does say that it is 90 members. And it looks like altogether you can hold about 200 members, 215, 20 members, or something like that in a single chapel. But it's a meeting place. That's really all it is. It's a meeting place, and uh, it provides some extra boost for happiness for the devout in the community. And in medieval times, everybody was devout. So, you know, there you go. The um, town hall, on the other hand, which is completing currently, uh, will show us a lot more stuff. And I also have another thing over here. I'm building another mine. So I can have a coal mine right here, and it's just kind of connected this way. So this will be specifically for coal. This one will stay for iron, so that way we can make some steel tools, because that's lovely. And we want steel tools. A lot more efficient, and everything. Uh, as you can see, just from this episode alone, my population is going up. With this method that I'm showing you for these tutorials, they will continue to rise. It's all about staying on top of your population, making sure you're having children being born, making sure you're having children turn into students, and students turn into adults. And as long as you have everything how we've kind of got it laid out and planned out this way, to where you have a school, you have uh, you know, good clothing, you have a hospital, herbalists, all that other stuff, they will reach maturity and they will be happy. So the town hall is now completed, and we can finally finish up this episode that's been taking... Literally, literally it's taken me like an hour to record this episode. Um, right now, you can see just your overview uh, stats, and I'm actually going to pause it right now so we can see it without anything changing. This is year 34, so this has been for 34 years. We've had this, uh, uh, this town, I guess, building up. Uh, season, late summer, it says the number of homes, the number of families... The number of citizens, and right there, number of families, there's 43 families and 31 homes. I could continue to create 12 more homes at this point in time, and they would be populated by families, and they would have kids, and there would be even more kids going and growing. <clears throat> we want to kind of space this out, though, because we don't want all of our kids growing adults in one year. You know what I mean? We want them to be spread out over a considerable time frame. Uh, they're all clothed, they're all educated, which that's wonderful right there. 100% clothed, 100% educated. Their health is average, health is 4 stars, their average happiness is 5 stars. That's gorgeous. A 5 star happiness rating across the board. And then you can see the profession. So it's like having all these right here, except in one spot. Um... You can see all the professions that you have done. Now, when you're looking at production, you can see the limits that you have set on everything, and you can see what is currently available in all those. So that's really cool. And this is display one year, two years, 25 years. So you can see the course over the last 25 years, how much you've produced altogether. Uh, we're going to go back to one year. Inventory. This is where it comes great because you can see the amount of ale, berries, firewood, uh, the hide coats, leather, mutton, Pumpkins, venison, you can see everything on here. Warm coats, we have 87 warm coats, which is great because we have like 90 or, uh, yeah, 90 people living here. The amount of wool that we have excess right now, because we're not being, it's not being used. It's all, everybody's got a, a wool coat, they're all clothed. And you can see this items in storage, uh, items in trading post, items in homes, so you can see what people have in their homes. The graphs, you can see the population currently. We have 90 people. You can see the adults. There's uh, about 67 adults right now. There are uh, a number of students, which we can actually see that in another spot. <clears throat> um, you can see the children. Uh, so, I mean, you can see all these parts. Now, one thing that I've seen on here that I haven't seen yet is there are no nomads requesting citizenship at this time. I don't know if that's if you reach a certain level, like 300 people in your town or 600 or 900. Uh, I don't know what that is. You can also see trade items. Acquired seeds and livestock through trade. So we've acquired chestnuts, beans, potatoes, pumpkins, chickens, sheep, and cattle through trade. So it's a really cool system. The town hall gives you a lot of access to really cool stuff. Uh, you can go to your builders and see what they're doing. It's it's really freaking cool. I do enjoy the town hall, and I think with the town hall and the chapel and the town, it's a great addition, and I think right now we're pretty much going to be set for this bit of town. We will need to add some more houses eventually and possibly expand out into this area. But we have one more thing that we do need to add, and that will have to wait till next episode. So make sure you guys join me then, and until then, I am DreamReaver23, reminding you to game happy, and I will see you all later. Bye, guys!